Howdy Pooksters. I know it's been a while, but I'm here to eat and I'm here to talk. But first, before we get into this, I would like to show you my new shirt. It says exercise. Hold on, there's a picture of fries. I thought you said extra fries. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, I totally have to get it. And I have to wear that on my next mukbang. I'm sorry guys, it's been two weeks, but my life has kind of just been crazy. So I was, I wrote down a list of things because it's been two weeks that have happened. So, you know, I could tell you guys about it uh, while I talk. First, I have peach mango flavored water, which is always delicious. In my Care Bear cup. And then I have a delicious meal prepared from Pookie at the House of Pookie. I've got chicken cordon bleu and basically baby spinach with bacon ranch dressing and green beans. So I love the House of Pookie's chicken cordon bleu, not to brag or nothing, just saying. Um, I was gonna say, um, I'll tell you a little bit about how I made it. The chicken, I just sauteed it with seasoning on both sides in a pan, and then I put it on a sprayed cookie sheet. And then I put a mix like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of mayonnaise and Dijon mustard, I mixed it up and I put some on each chicken breast and spread it out. Then I put some baby spinach on top and a couple pieces of ham and then Swiss cheese. Put it in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes and there you have it and then i put these green beans there was the steamable bags after i cooked them in the microwave i put them in that pan that i cooked this chicken in because it has all that good season and flavor with it add a little bit more season and flavor and boom that's how you do it mm. the chicken always comes out so tender when I mean, the baby spinach is just baby spinach you know what i'm saying so I did put a little bit of the leftover Dijon mustard mayo mix on top of here. All right, so let's get to it. What I've been up to. I've been getting some letters from you guys. Um, some of you are reaching out to me on Instagram and, and Snapchat, and I really appreciate you guys checking on me. I'm sorry it's been a while. I've just been going through some stuff, as you know, if you watch my videos. But let's start with a couple of things that um, I think are pretty awesome. I've done some changes kind of in my life and things that I've done around here. Um, you know, I mentioned that I did some painted a chair and um, what else did I paint? I don't know. It's not most of Oh, the cat bed. Well, I found this really cute day bed with this beautiful pink and white kind of um, comforter set. And I put it in that spare room where I video normally. So now I got to clean up that room because I had to clean out from under it. And it's a storage room to some extent as well. So I need to clean it up before I can film in there, but it's going to be such a cute background. And then I'll move back in there. I'm super excited about it though because it's cute. So cute. It's girly like me. I'm not really girly. Okay, so I did that. And I sold my other day bed, which was pretty awesome. So it was almost cost me nothing. And it looks so much cuter. I ain't lying, you'll see it. So stay tuned for that. Mmm. I was a big old piece of chicken, but see, it's still steaming. I just took it out of the oven. This is good stuff, y'all. Um, the other thing I've been up to, a Monday, you know, like a week ago, I decided to start cutting my carbs and exercise. So last week, I pulled out the weights the video the bench and i was like mm, mm, mm. only did it once or twice 
This week, after this meal, I'm actually gonna do the weights again. I'm gonna try to come up with a schedule that works for me to, to do the weights so I can get the exercise in. But I cut my carbs, so as you can see, this is pretty low carb. The only carbs really are in the, um, in the green beans and there's very little green beans and spinach and then a trace in the cheese. And I've been doing that for a little over a week. You know, I've lost five pounds. That's good. So I'm getting my body in shape while I also work on my mind. Um, went to a Duran Duran concert. Yep. I don't know when they started playing, if it was the 80s or early 90s, but when I saw they were playing, they were playing like on a Wednesday night or Thursday, I don't know what day, but the night before, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go, bought the tickets, and I went, it was fun, we had a good time, good time, y'all, so good, there's like, a plethora of flavors in here. It's so, so good. Um, I have my other um, channel that I do vlogging on, and I think there's a video where I made this chicken cordon bleu and showed you how to do it if you're interested. I'll put the link of that right here. You'll see it in that little white bar. Just click on it, and it'll take you to it. But watch this video first, okay? Please. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, really good news. My boss called me in the office and gave me a raise. That was really awesome. She was like, hey, just so you'll know, this paycheck, we're gonna get extra money you have a paycheck after that because you do a good job and so she told me how much it was and you know talked about the things that i'm doing that she likes and told me to keep doing good work that felt good i know she's like she's kind of a tough cookie you know but she's business like don't screw around answer a question get something done and she likes you So, she kind of like me, a no-nonsense kind of person. Um, but yeah, I was, uh, I know she likes me and appreciates me because she keeps me around and she doesn't yell at me. <laughs> but um, it's just good to hear every once in a while. I went and played poker. Thursday night, I came in third. And then I played a cash game. I played with $26 and I left with $26. So it cost me nothing to visit with people and play poker. Yeah. Mm. Friday night, I went and played poker also. This is a bigger tournament, it's 20, 28 people. And there's always a break in poker, like right in the middle of the poker, where everybody takes like a 15, 20 minute break. And if you lose all your chips before, then you can rebuy them. Basically put the same amount of money in and get the, the new starting stack of chips you started with. So there's 28 people playing, but a few of them rebought. So I almost consider that as other people I'm playing against. But anyway, technically 28 people played. I came in first. That's the point. The point is I came in first place. That was pretty awesome. Felt damn good. Um, I won $465. And it cost me 31 to play. 
I was kicking myself and I had a feeling I might do this, but they have this $5 you can pay and it goes in this pot called the last man standing. So if you make first place, you get all the money that everybody put in that pot. Well, I only had a dollar cash, so I didn't do it. Cause I'm thinking, well, I probably won't make it to the end. And if I do, I'm still going to get a good chunk of money. So let someone else have it. That's exactly what happened. Second place got $120 from that pot. So yeah, I'm kicking myself, but I still got 465. That was a good feeling to win. I placed second or, or third there before. I don't know that I've ever gotten first. So I liked it. I was happy. Big accomplishment. Because I go a lot of Friday nights, but I don't always place even. So. But I was breaking it in. One hand after another. Shoot, I didn't even have time to stack my chips. I was that badass. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday morning I did my taxes. That was horrible. I was racking my brain like, surely I had more donations than this. Because I owe the IRS money. And you know, if you have charitable donations, it reduces the amount you owe. But I can't say I got some if I didn't have any. So I owe them and my taxes are done, but they're not filed because I'm not gonna pay them until the last day. Watch me. And by the way, taxes used to be due, I thought on April 15th. But I wanna say the last few years they've been different. So, I don't know. I really don't know. I used to always remember it because my birthday is April 14th, which is the day before taxes were due. But I want to say they were due like on the 18th last year. Speaking of my birthday, it lands on a good Friday and we're not working on good Friday. So I have a three day weekend for my birthday. I'm going to pull. I ate today. I went to work and I hit it and around 11 o'clock my stomach was rowling but I couldn't leave I couldn't stop so um, I have brought I made some um, breakfast sausage the ground sausage I cooked it beforehand I put a couple of raw eggs in there mix it all together because I put it in the microwave and it cooks the eggs but um, I also put <coughs> Excuse me. I also put two pieces of bacon in a Ziploc bag. So I was like, okay, that's convenient. I could do that real quick while I keep working. So I got that done. And then it satiated me. So I was like, that's cool. I went to lunch. I got some chicken breast. I got the stuff for this meal and other things I needed. Because I was so busy this weekend, I didn't get to, to do it. So then around four o'clock, I started to get hungry and I'm like, well, I only had two pieces of bacon. That's why I'm hungry. The thing I like with low carb is once you eat something that's low in carbs or, or no carbs, especially high in fat like bacon, it, it satisfies you for a long time. And then when I eat heart, uh, meals with high carbs after I'm done, I may feel a little full, but I want to eat something else. Like that craving is still there. I mean, I could stuff myself on a low carb meal and not feel bloated and super full like I do when I stuff myself on a carb meal. It's really weird. But anyway, I'm not trying to talk about it, but that's what I had today was bacon. So I came home, straight home, pounded this chicken out and got it done. Get her done. Um, some people have reached out to me on Facebook. They're my Facebook friends. They know that I'm off the market or on the market, I guess. Um, so a few of them have asked me out. 
and um, I pretty much declined but there's one guy that I had talked to off and on a little bit like in the past anyway and he's like still he's not with his ex but he still talks to his ex and he's still hung up on her and I still love sugar plum yum yum that's the truth but I thought it would be perfect to meet him because it's not a date it's more like a I don't know get to know each other we have a mutual friend they told me like a year ago that we should talk to each other and we just we did but we never got together so he was making some uh, beef ribs they were like this high on the rib bone it was so good and he made green beans he knew I was low carving so he made something I could eat and we talked and watched TV. We had a friend over that was visiting, so we were all just hanging out. He's a really nice guy. Um, I don't know if or when anything like that would happen. Like I said, I'm still kind of emotionally not in a place for that. But it was good to catch up. It turns out um, he lived to, like, there was one house between me and him when we were growing up for like 10 years. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know, not even a full year younger than me. So we grew up next to each other and didn't know it. But, um, I did, um, a, a vlog on my weekend and the poker stuff, whatever, whatever I could. And I uploaded that. So if you want to see like a recap of all that going down, you could click on this white thing that just popped up. And it'll take you to that video. But wait, so this one's over. <laughs> um, yeah. So. There's that. If you want to see the, you know, the activity. I didn't necessarily record everything, but I took some pictures and whatever. Um, that's pretty much all the stuff that's been going down. That pretty much all happened in the last week. Um, the week before that, I just was kind of, I didn't really want to do a video because I was too sad. Like, I don't know. So as you guys know, um, me and Sugar Plum Yum Yum, I really wanted us to work, but you know, he came over to get the last bit of his stuff and he cooked me chicken, it was really nice. And then the next day I hardly heard from him, which is the biggest problem that I've had. I've like asked him, if you love me, show it, like communicate with me, bare minimum, and he just doesn't. And he always uses some excuse about work or, um, what was the other excuse he uses? I don't know. But I know when he comes home, he's not working. And I'm sure in the hour or two that he's at home, he's texting somebody, it's just not me. I just can't, I can't keep asking for attention, so I stop. I'm done with it. And that is what it is. And it's pretty much done for good unless the only thing that would get me talking back with him would be if he um, actually expressed his love for me, showed it, um, and continued to do it. He might get my attention. But we would go back to dating, you know, getting to know each other and seeing if if that would be something that would continue not to be like a month only like it was when we first met. He's just not invested in me. And I get he's busy. I think everybody's busy, but at the end of the day, if you come home and you're super tired and there's somebody that's in your heart and that you love, you would text them or call them at the end of the day and say, I'm beat, but I want you to know I've been thinking about you and I love you something so instead of continuing to get rejected that way I just shut it down
Mm-hmm. And people know from Facebook that I'm single because I changed my relationship status back to single. It doesn't send an alert, but I guess some people can see it. Anyway. I don't really want to be finding a replacement relationship because I think I was technically a rebound for him and um, he might have been one for me. I don't know. So I'm going to take some time off. Do my thing. But I miss getting comments and reading them. I've gotten a few of them, but not a lot. You know, I just haven't put out new, new videos, so... I guess that's what you get. Last bite. I may have cooked this a little too long. When you cook it in a skillet, you want to cook it, but not fully because it's going to bake for 10 minutes. But you want to mostly cook it. I may have cooked it too long because I was trying to move the stuff in here for the video. So, it was still very good. And... It's low carb. I made it. I hope y'all like my shirt. Um, I will do more videos. Um, they're probably not gonna be McDonald's burgers. Mm, that is so good. I think I'm gonna make another glass of this when I get off this video. And I'm going to add vodka to it. Because I'm feeling like it. Alright guys. My plate is a happy plate. If you like this video. Please think about it. If you haven't yet. And click the thumbs up button. Um, subscribe if you're not already. And comment because I want to hear how you guys have been doing. I know it's been a couple weeks. I gave you a recap of everything I've been up to. So, I'd love to hear from you guys. I would. And wish me luck because I'm about to go get some weight lifting stuff on. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to do it, but I got I to gotta get my girlish figure on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's really, it's womanish. You know what I'm saying? All right. That's it. I'm going to quit talking. Wish me luck on the exercise part. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.